The Auxiliary Power Unit, APU, is a gas turbine engine designed to deliver electrical power and bleed air to the aircraft systems, on ground or in the air. Its starting envelope is limited to 30,000 feet. APU starting may use either the onboard battery 2 or power from a DC external ground cart. The APU operation is limited to 33,000 feet and AC electrical power can be supplied up to this altitude. APU bleed air is provided for the engine starting system up to 21,000 feet and for air conditioning purposes up to 15,000 feet. The APU compartment is located in the aircraft tail cone and is accessible through two removable panels on the bottom side of the tail cone. A mesh screen on the air inlet panel is provided to minimize ingestion of foreign objects. Note, for APUs certified for ETOPS operations, the operation is limited to 37,000 feet. The APU operates at a constant speed. It consists of a single-stage compressor impeller and a two-stage axial turbine mounted on a common rotor shaft. The gearbox assembly, driven by the engine rotor shaft, reduces the engine rotor speed sufficiently to drive the 40 kV amp oil-cooled AC generator and the oil pump assembly. The APU uses a full authority digital electronic controller, FADEC, to operate various APU components. The FADEC also monitors the operation of the APU and provides fault and status information to the Aircraft Central Maintenance Computer, CMC. The APU control panel and switches are located on the cockpit overhead panel and provide control signals to the APU FADEC. The panel contains two switches, the master switch and the emergency stop switch. The master switch is a three-position switch. The off position indicates normal shutdown of the APU after a two minutes cooldown period. The on position indicates normal APU operation. The start position is a momentary position that initiates the APU start sequence and when released, the switch moves to the on position. The emergency stop switch is a guarded switch, which, when pressed, initiates an immediate stop command to shut down the APU. Note, there is no cooldown period and a white bar illuminates inside the button when it is pressed. In case of APU fire, a red bar will illuminate in the upper half of the button. Note, for airplanes a serial number covered by the service bulletin 170049003, APU with FADEX 02.00, or an equivalent modification factory incorporated, the cooldown period is one minute, followed by a spool down period. The ICAST message APU shutting down disappears at the end of the spool down period. To start the auxiliary power unit, turn the APU master switch to the on position. This powers the APU FADAC and opens the APU fuel shutoff valve. When you momentarily turn the master switch to the start position, the FADEC energizes the start controller, permitting the starter to energize and the APU to run. When the APU speed is approximately 7%, the FADEC commands the fuel module to open and energize the exciter. At approximately 50% RPM, the ignition exciter and the starter are de-energized and the APU runs on its own. When the speed reaches 95% RPM, plus 3 seconds, the electrical and pneumatic powers become available. When the APU master switch is turned to the off position, the auxiliary power unit, pneumatic source, will be immediately removed. If the APU generator is not the only source of AC power, then the APU generator will be taken offline as soon as the APU master switch is rotated from on to off. If the APU generator is the only source of AC power, 
then the APU generator will remain online for the entire shutdown process. The APU starts the cooldown period. After two minutes, the fuel module will close and the auxiliary power unit will turn off. The FADEC power will be removed after two and a half minutes. Note, the cooldown period does not apply during emergency shutdown. Note, for airplanes, a serial number covered by the Service Bulletin 170-49-0003, APU with FADEX 02.00, or an equivalent modification factory incorporated, the cooldown period is one minute, followed by a spool-down period. The ICAST message APU shutting down disappears at the end of the spool-down period. Protective automatic shutdown is provided only on ground at APU overspeed, APU underspeed, APU fire, APU EGT over temperature, APU high oil temperature, APU low oil pressure, FADEC critical fault, sensors fail. In flight automatic shutdown is provided at APU overspeed, APU underspeed, FADEC critical fault. Note, there is an APU fail message on the ICUS. If an automatic shutdown occurs and an APU fault message, if a major fault is active but shutdown is inhibited due to in-flight situation.